Hey guys, this is Asad Siddiqui. I am the owner and developer at iDesignSmart.com and this video will be a continuation from my previous video on the X theme. In the previous video, I showed to you how to install the X theme properly. I set up a development server on my own hosting account and I installed the X theme. And we installed the X theme, installed the child theme, and activated the theme so as you can see uh, there is no content or anything like that on my sample install it is a plain WordPress with the X theme activated as shown in my previous video so in this video I will be covering how to work with the sample content how to install the sample content we will be discussing the different types of sample content that are available with the X theme or comes packaged with the X theme and then I'll show you how to import it and uh, how to work with the sliders and the different kinds of the imports that are available. So let's jump right into that. What you want to do is to um, go in the X um, options panel. So you click on the X from your options panel and you hover down where you see all the options that are available. So you will see all the different types of extensions that are available. I will make a different video for that later once we are done with uh, how to create the site with that. And uh, what's important to note is what I did was um, installed the revolution slider or the slider revolution. So I had installed the slider revolution right here. So it says go activate in your scenario. If you haven't installed already, you can install it first and then you can click on go activate. So what I will do first is activate my slider revolution. Here is activate. So I'll click on activate and it'll, it's activating. By the way, if you are in the domain or hosting market looking for a quality host, I do have my recommendations in the description of this video. So if, uh, I recommend SiteGround Hosting. They offer PHP 7, excellent 24 by 7 support, which is responsive and a ton of WordPress tools. So I really like the hosting. If you would like to give it a shot, my discount link is in the description. So my slider revolution is now installed and activated. What does not come with the Xteam demo, this um, like I will go to the demos here and click on integrity one, which is fairly popular. A lot of people uh, like this demo a lot. So an important thing to note here is the slider does not come with the X theme um, packaged. So you will have to uh, figure your own sliders out. This one will not be coming with the X theme. And I will show you a quick and easy workaround for this as well and we'll talk about the rest of the options. So what we want to do is you can uh, go to the free slider exchange from Theme Punch. And here uh, you have so many sliders already done. So you can uh, browse through them and look to see which one suits your requirements better, which one you like better. What I will do uh, for this tutorial is click on the full width button here. So I am looking for a full width slider. And what I've done is I have uh, just downloaded this slider, which is called Showcase Carousel in my on to my computer. So you can do that by clicking on this button. And once you have that, we'll go ahead and activate it. So that will be the next step. What we will do is click on Slider Revolution here. And we will import slider, choose file. And here is my zip file that I downloaded. So I'll double click on it and say import slider. So now theme punch import slider is done. Here is my slider with nine galleries. As you can see, it is super fast and that will be available to me. So now we are going to import the sample content. So to do that, we need to go to the X options panel. So I'll click on that and here I see a demo content right before all the extensions and what you need to know about the demo content is there are two kinds of demo content. One is called the standard demo content and one is called the extended demo content. So the standard demo content does not come with everything that looks and feels like it is in the demo. 
So what they have done is they have given you the layout, but all the graphics and content and uh, some of the styling will not exactly be like it is being showed in the demo. On the flip side, it is super quick to import. So it is a really fast way and you will use your own graphics anyway. So um, it's a good way if you're looking for some basic uh, layouts. And of course you have the pages and the blocks available to you in Cornerstone that you can utilize in your design. But just to know these when you when you're done with the import this will not exactly look like this so let's go ahead and import the integrity one demo layout uh, while we are on the subject you can also choose an extended demo like these one expanded demo and then you will see that everything will look like exactly how it is set up on their demo um, website so what we will do is we are doing a standard one integrity one and we'll click on it and we'll click on this button set up demo content it'll pop up a warning and you say yes proceed and as you can see it is super quick now i'm all done what i'll do is just refresh my page and you will see that the home page is set up uh, Another thing about the standard demo imports is not each and every page will be imported. So they are doing the like one page or two pages and, and so forth. So what you can see here is there is no slider to begin with. Secondly, uh, there are no graphics. The text seem to be styled slightly differently. So this is just standard uh, layout that they have and i will also touch upon like how you can uh, edit this with cornerstone and replace your graphics and so forth so the first thing to do is let's discuss the slider so as i imported a slider in my slider revolution now what i need to do is to assign that slider to this page and for that i'll click on the edit page button right here once the edit page comes up uh, I have the option uh, to edit this with cornerstone that is for the content but the page setting will be down here and as you can see there are a lot of page options like you can um, assign CSS classes to pages uh, you can override the uh, titles for SEO and stuff like that and you can also enable one page navigation for a single page site here are the slider settings so slider setting right now is above mast head what does that mean that means if you look at their sample content the slider is first then there is the menu bar with the logo and then there is the page content so if we go here and activate the above mast head to be my slider what i'll get is the slider first and then the logo and menu bar so i will go that route and do that So now my page is updating, it is updated. Now I will go back and view this page in a separate tab. As you can tell, I like opening a lot of tabs. And now you can see that my slider, my beautiful slider with a bunch of cell phones uh, is displayed over here. And then is my logo bar and the menu bar. So my header bar is after the slider. You can also select that right here you can also select it to be below the slider which will make it look like a very standard um, uh, website so what i will do is select the below option right here and then uh, i'm trying to figure out do i need to right here deactivate the above you can also have both and you can select different sliders for it and I do have a video on working with revolution slider on my channel. So if you would like to look at it and get a feel for how to work with the revolution slider in WordPress, uh, please feel free to do that here. I'll just refresh it. And now what you will see is my header bar at the top and then my slider coming in. So the slider is after the header bar and the menu and 
that is my layout so quickly if you want to uh, i will make a detailed video on this as well but just to give you a quick overview you can edit this page and edit with cornerstone and once you click on edit with cornerstone it's gonna launch the edit with cornerstone bar uh, uh, cornerstone options so the page is going to open with cornerstone so now you can see that the different uh, elements for style like the timeline image is right here that second timeline image is right there so you can uh, pick and choose what you want to edit so for example if i want to edit this image i'll just click on it great thing about cornerstone is the live preview so you can click on things as you see them and replace them so click on that and as you can see the source is right here i will remove the source add a new source upload files select files and i had this one from their sample content copied so i will insert that in the post so now you can see uh, that the image that i'm using is from their demo and i if i want to edit this text i can just click on it edit it right here update the title i can update this title so i will go in much much more detail with the cornerstone that's going to be the main thing in my uh, series but for right now i'll just click save and it says that it's all done now i'll just click on view the page so i will view the page close this tab and i don't want to edit it anymore and here's my page so as you can see that it's looking much better i can also replace any other uh, images that i want to replace good thing about these placeholders is they give you the exact dimension that the image needs to be so that is how you import sample content and they work with the revolution slider what i suggest you doing is go to free slider exchange the link is in the description check out a few sliders that uh, you like and then you can experiment with these sliders and see how they look like on your website so now we will go ahead and import something else we will import a full demo which will take a much longer time so i will go instead of integrity one i'm gonna go app which is a newer demo and click on setup demo content before i do this i will give you a heads up that this will take much longer this will download images over the internet and based on your download speed and things like that it takes a while this is like a standard um, demo content uh, that comes with a lot of wordpress themes so i'll click on the button here yes proceed and then i'll sit back and relax downloading images attaching thumbnails, creating post, creating taxonomies. That is for custom post types. Adding post data. Creating menus, sidebar, customizations, and now it's complete. So the app sample content is now imported on my site. When I refresh it, I'm gonna replace all this content, the sliders and all that stuff uh, with the app content that they have packaged and that'll be a full site instead of the standard um, um, import. So once I refresh this, I expect to see an update okay so what it does show is it does show a slider the reason for that is i had a slider created in slider revolution and since this was the only slider it takes it by default and displays that on the page so if you look at the app uh, sample page pretty much everything will be imported as you can see all the graphics are imported with this one so all the graphics are there and you can see that the page layout is created other than this home page you will also see the about page get started page and all that stuff so everything is done this is like a complete site where you can edit the sample content and if you can if you want to edit it you can just click on the edit page and edit with cornerstone so the menu is set up the header bar is set up and everything is there 
important thing to note uh, or know before you import the sample content actually there are two very important things if the edit with cornerstone is not working correctly you want to make sure that your memory configuration in wordpress is good and it is uh, according to what the documentation of x theme says secondly you want to make sure that your uh, permalinks are set up right so sometimes if you have the default permalinks it's not gonna work with cornerstone so you, i recommend that you change them to post so if you go to settings and permalinks you can click on post name and then like for right now my mine is set to day and name so if it is plain sometimes cornerstone doesn't work with that if you do post names or day and name or something else um, uh, cornerstone works fine with them so that is pretty much how you install the sem sample content and uh, how to uh, quickly edit that with cornerstone how to work with revolution sliders in my next video i will go in much much more detail about the cornerstone and we will be working with the integrity one uh, by the way, I did skip the second important thing. The second important thing is knowing which stack you are working with. So there is a concept of stacks in the X theme and you can click on X and you can click on, oh, you can click on customize or you can go appearance and customize from your menu and it will launch an X theme customizer which has all the customization options. So the first option in there, you see stack, it's set to renew. When we are working with integrity, it was set to integrity. So what is this stack? This stack covers a lot of uh, things regarding the layout. For example, your blog archive page, uh, where you see all your blog posts, uh, that a lot of header styles are here that will be set in these uh, different demos and you can change this to achieve different look and feels so if you click on integrity now you see that my header is different and i'll have to set up the header for that stack you can click on ethos and your uh, stack will be different you see that uh, the default header style is changing also on the blog archive page a lot of things will change so i'll put it back to renew and uh, once i get back with my next video we'll uh, resume with working with the integrity one sample content until next time thanks so much for watching